All right, Capricorn. Hey, Capricorn, what's going on? It's Natalie here with a message for you guys. Hope everyone is doing well. We're going to tap in and see what spirit has for the sign of Capricorn. If you have Capricorn um, in any placement in your chart, it could resonate for you. So just take it how it resonates or it could resonate for the cross watcher. If it does not resonate, um, it's probably just not your reading this week. However, I try to do these weekly. All right, let's see what's going on with Capricorn. All right, so we got outer spirit. You are never alone. Why would someone think that Capricorn was alone? Giraffe spirit, see the bigger picture. I feel like you're being overseen. It's either spiritually, I feel like you're being protected spiritually or you're just never alone. You got a lot of, um, it's either physical protection or spiritual protection. I'm also getting like if this is about love or something. Um, and you may feel, you may wonder if someone has certain feelings for you. They do. Okay. So, uh, Capricorn, you're being called to not be so negative about something. If you, or if any sort of like, you know, thoughts creep up, a thoughts of inadequacy or whatever. It's not, it's not that. I feel like it, I feel like a lot of people feel the way that you do. Okay. Uh-oh. Karmic Friends is here. Capricorn. Hold on. Child Services. <sighs> stress. Someone is stressed out with some children or something. Or someone's stressed out because they're going through some sort of like legal issues here. What is this for Capricorn? With children. Oh, someone is worried about the wrong things right now, Capricorn. That's what I just heard. Fake accounts. What? Expecting faith and manifesting. Capricorn, if you have children, someone is just waiting for that day where they get taken from you or they feel like um, the children are not being treated well in your care or something like that. Or you may feel this about somebody else and you're, you're desperate to prove it. Someone is like, yeah, spiritual hater. Or this is someone who has children. If you don't have children, they got children. Somebody got children here and they need to be focused on them. Or they need to not focus on what you're doing with your children. Take it how it resonates. What else? They're like clinging to it. They're so obsessed. I mean like cancer energy. Marrying for money. Wow. We're going to see what all this is talking about. Somebody's broke, okay? And they're going to reach a breaking point. So someone's going to do literally anything that they can to make money. They may even involve children. I feel like children are at stake right now. Whatever the situation is, we're going to see what this is about. Because what? Someone is always getting updated information on you or they're getting information on, on you and realizing that they were wrong about something here, Capricorn. So either one or two things are happening because the Children's Services card is very... I'm trying to general, generalize that card the best that I can. It's either you have kids and someone is all up in your business about what you have going on with your kids. They want them taken away from you. Or you don't have kids and um, they need to focus on their kids and what they got going on. Okay? It's like someone, and then they got like friends involved or they got some sort of like a, alliance or allegiance to some sort of friend, maybe even your friend. This person is very obsessed and weird. What's current friends for Capricorn? Yeah, four swords reverse. It's like multiple people out here restlessly trying to gang up on somebody to have them attacked or something. What's children's services here for Capricorn? This is a very specific reading. I don't think it's gonna resonate for everybody. The Empress reverse, see what I mean? Someone needs to be taking care of their kids and they don't. Or someone needs to be, someone is not a good mother. What's stress here for Capricorn? Tower reverse. Okay, what's clinging here for Capricorn? The Nine of Wands and the Ace of Cups. I'm trying to figure out, I feel like this person is only focused on like uh, what's coming in for you or what you're manifesting. Something about new love here and they're not what, focused on their children? 
or they're too focused on your children because they're an empress in the reverse or they didn't have any sort of like they don't have any sort of nurturing going on within themselves so they want your children to be taken away from you it could be your own mother for some of you guys capricorn what's hoping expecting faith and manifesting the emperor reverse what the heck who is this emperor reverse three of pentacles they're working together someone is working to there's a mother out here lying on children it's like she disguises herself as someone who really cares about children but she really doesn't this is like someone who will call children's services and, and pretend like oh you know i just care about the safety of the children no they don't this person is very controlling they want something bad to happen they want accidents to happen they want disaster to happen they're stressed out because it's not happening so they're willing to go to like certain lengths to make sure that it happens this person wants it to happen to you and they could be working with an emperor in reverse it could be like their partner or these are like uh really toxic parents of yours capricorn what's fake accounts they're setting things up they've always been fit setting things up hangman is here let's fake accounts with hangman judgment reverse also if someone is on fake accounts they're they're trying to trap you on something or it's something about online someone's trying to catch you up uh, something online or they spy on you or they have people spy on you online so that this narrative can keep going with judgment in the reverse i feel like there's like some sort of gossip here and these people are obsessed with getting this type of like information what's spiritual hater for capricorn <clears throat> Every time I read Capricorn energy, is some evil stuff going on with mother figures. People that don't need to be mothers or it's like your mother or something. Still trying to get their way. Yeah, this person is in the Eight of Swords. Hates on your spirituality, light, magic, and power. They don't like that you have this. So it's like, oh, well, you don't need that. That's very irresponsible to have around your children. Yeah, High Priestess Reverse. They could even be working with like a, a High Priestess Reverse. This person also is very, um, I'm hearing malignant. Yeah, it's, it's mother figures here. They could be working with another mother figure or some sort of dark witch or high priestess here. Whoever this high priestess is, they're stuck. They're going to jail or mentally, physically, or spiritually. Three of Cups. Yeah, they celebrate with this person. So someone uh, created allies to go against you to get your children taken. And if you don't have children, these people are creating allies to go up against you, but their children are about to be taken. So take it how it resonates. Because whoever is not minding their business is who's going to get in trouble. Uh, what's marrying for money for Capricorn? You're the eight of wands. We have the queen of swords and the queen of pentacles. Someone's getting information that you are this queen of pentacles queen of swords energy and someone else is just marrying for money what's the queen of swords queen of pentacles i feel like there's friends here they're they're collaborating together or they're together or something there's friends somewhere i'm also hearing like you have alliances too you got friends too capricorn so what it's like people take your people support you but it's not desperately supporting you like whoever's supporting your karmics they're desperately supporting them it's like, like it's, it's to the point to where like, it's, they have to, it's life threatening if they don't. This could have happened, all this could have happened in the past, by the way, it might not be currently happening, but they may be like getting their karma for doing this. Cause it's like, this person is like, uh, I guess they thought they could hide this energy. I'm getting like 12th house enemies, like Pisces energy. Certain hidden enemies are coming out or their intentions are. We have gift here. What else for Capricorn? Or if you're a masculine, it's either you're this karmic masculine working with somebody to do this, or if you're a divine masculine, this is what your feminine is going through. Okay, so just take it how it resonates. Teddy bear in the reverse with nightmare and paradise in the reverse.
Someone may try to give you a gift. They may try to give you something to like apologize or whatever, but it's not going to change the dynamic of the relationship. Yeah, because you're not disturbed about something here. You don't care about something. Or like, yeah, you don't care about something. Separation in the reverse here. What else? Capricorn. If someone is trying to separate you from somebody, you don't see it as a separation. Yeah, there's something here that you don't really care about. Eternal love is here. You could have some sort of telepathic connection with somebody or whatever gift that you have here, it's enhancing Capricorn and you got collaborations coming in for you. You're free from something. These people may need, may need even may even need your help now or something like that. But these people were attacking you and your children or like I said, if you don't have any children, they were attacking you and it's backfiring on their children, okay? So this is your guys' reading. I hope this resonates for you. If it does, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.